Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Mode. Last time, well, we went to Concord, dealt with the Raiders, killed a Death Claw, thanks to the fine tactics of pretty much utter cowardice, got ourselves some decent weapons, so hopefully we can kill things before they can kill us. And today we're heading out into the wider wasteland, picking up a few quests that we can do along the way. You see there in the background, there is now Fortress Sanctuary. We have indeed built a wall to keep out any undesirables. If gunners do decide to attack this settlement, they'll have to funnel through into one nice tight space at the front of the town, where hopefully we'll be able to deal with them with area of effect, if nothing else. So today we're going on our first big adventure, really. And the thing about big adventures in Fallout 4 is you can't just go somewhere, you know, loot to your heart's content, and then fast travel back to Sanctuary and dump it before heading straight back there to continue looting. No, because there's no fast travel, and carry capacity is incredibly low, for the most part what you need to be doing is considering very carefully the order in which you do things. So today we're going to be doing a bit of a loop, where hopefully things are going to make sense as we go around and do things in a sensible order. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm heading, well I'm heading west at this exact moment of time, but I'm actually supposed to be heading south. I'm heading south towards the cabin that we cleared out yesterday. I know this area is safe because we passed through it on our way down to Abernathy Farm. There is the Runaways Cabin, right? I think it's called the Range Cabin, actually. I think of it as the Runaways Cabin because it's got the Runaway Note in it and the Runaway Skeleton. And first things first, we're heading further south than we ever have done before, past the corpses of the bloatflies. Start being a little bit careful around here. Something is potentially going to detect us, I'm not sure. And down here to, what is it? Wicked, wicked something shipping. Wicked something shipping here. Uh, we could technically just pass straight by this place, but I kind of want to see how I do against ghouls. Because I haven't really run into much in the way of ghouls yet, and I'd like to test my strength versus them before we run into them in more dangerous circumstances. Because if it goes wrong here, well, I have slept recently. Wicked shipping fleet locker, that's it. I have, of course, uh, rested recently, so I could come back here relatively easily. So, also, there's another nice thing here, which is, while we've got ghouls here, we've also got a Protectron. So, I do have a friend that can join and help me. One ghoul under there, but don't worry about him just yet. Instead, just very, very carefully and quietly unlock this here terminal. Okay, we got ourselves a Protectron, but we've also got a Feral Ghoul activated over there. I just saw him, though, of course, he is not on the compass, because that's not really a thing in this mode. Let's head around here and see how much damage we can do to a basic ghoul. Hello, basic feral. Uh, yep, okay, good. With a bit of frantic firing, we can indeed get him down. Ooh, Wonder Glue. I like Wonder Glue. Wonder Glue's the best thing. So, yeah, this basic weapon, probably not quite doing the job there, to be honest. Probably should go over to a shotgun. I've got plenty of ammo for the shotgun. Yeah, let's use that. For now. This thing can't unlock, but there is a key floating around in one of these buildings. Uh, this thing is... I just remember if there's any more that wake up just when you're wandering around. There's something around the back here. I can't remember what it is. I will go and get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice and quick, nice and quick. You don't wake up, do you? You never used to wake up. If you wake up now, you're the biggest jerk in the world. Uh, pepper mill or something. I mean, you've got Ultra Jet on you, don't you? I swear he used to have subway token it is then. I've just taken those rads to get a subway token. I swear he used to have... Maybe he does normally have ultra... Oh, teddy bear. That's a good source of leather. Excellent. I need leather. And straight past and down. Lovely. Now, I believe there's not going to be... Mu oh, there might be something in here. There might be something in here. Just wait for something to... Ah, yep. There you go. And... And... Oh, fool. That was close. Okay, don't let them hit you. Those things are the epitome of things you don't want to get hit by. This is probably a really bad weapon choice, by the way. Because this is a powerful weapon, but it runs out of ammo almost immediately. Terrible idea. You see, settlements like this that just have a random power armor station are now much more useful than they used to be. Because in the old days, you could just basically fast travel whenever your power armor needed help back to Sanctuary Hills. But now, almost no settlements in the entire wasteland actually have a flipping power armor station. And until you're, well, until you're level 14, and only when you've got Charisma 6, can you build your own. So actually, finding a power armor station, if you're wearing power armor, you might well wish to just kind of, you know, scrap as much as you want. Actually, why am I not wearing power armor? I should probably have come wearing power armor. That would have been a sensible idea. Are you about to pop up to life? Is there something alive in here? You alive in it? No, okay, good. You've just got some bottle caps on you, lovely. Yeah, actually, of all the weapons I've got, I do have a bit of a problem that none of them have got a good clip capacity. They're all kind of slow, powerful weapons. Now, if I go in here, I know one of you's going to pop up immediately. Uh, 
But I should... Uh-oh. That's a Roma. That's the first Roma of the game. Right, back out. Back out. Protectron, you're on my team here, all right? Protectron, you're with me. All right, now. Go for him. Go for him. Go for him. Go for him. Uh, take the critical in a second. Take the critical. Just do it. Roma, not worth the risk. Oh, bloody hell. Right, I'm not that strong yet. And you kill him. Thank you very much, Protectron. Got some duct tape out of that, at least. Romas. Wasn't expecting to see Romas this early on. Need to be a bit careful here. Though also, need to use my bloody level ups. I've got two of those. So here's something I've decided I want sooner rather than later. I'm going to boost charisma by a point with my first of the two that I've got available. And I'm going to use that to immediately take a point of Lone Wanderer. 15% damage reduction and an extra 50 carry capacity. Invaluable. Yeah, taking that. I want charisma to start slowly going up anyway because I'm going to need local leaders sooner or later. So let's get that going in the right direction now. I just need to find there's going to be more in here yet. I just can't remember how many activate. I know you're not activating because you're a, oh, a dead Reaver. I know Reavers aren't what they used to be, but bloody hell do I still not want to be running into one yet anyway. All right. Everything seems under control for now at least. Head into the office. One of these officers has a um, has the key to that uh, the locked trailer in it, which is useful. More gas canisters. I might need to drop those later down the line because those are heavy for what they are. But I am short on oil. That is an important thing I'm short of. Could use some circuitry, actually. Uh, but, ooh, I'm not sure whether I'm up for taking out that protect. Oh, no, protectrons never have circuitry in them anyway. They just have, like, scrap metal and some energy cells. They've never got circuitry. I'll need to find something better if I want to do circuitry here. And, ooh, yes, a grognak the Barbarian. Completely bloody pointless. The bloody heart. Sorry, blood on the heart. The little-known sequel to Blood on the Sand, 50 cents. Truly spectacular game. And there is a wicked shipping trailer key, indeed. Get myself some... Ooh, dirty water times three. That's actually a useful crafting component. And, of course, grab the desk fan, too. Now, with that, we can open up this. I'm about to say, I'm not even sure whether there's anything... I don't think there's anything bad in here, right? Right, if I've just opened something that's got, a, like, a reaver in, I'll feel really stupid. But no, good. Just ammo. And two fragmentation grades and a mine. Beautiful. Oh, on the topic of mines, um, I have read but not yet verified that mines, you can trigger your own mines now. Which is just yet another example of the fact that the, yeah, the people of Bethesda who made this uh, this mode are utter, utter evil supervillains and I love them. Because that's a beautiful idea. Right, all that looting has taken its toll slightly, and I'm a little bit dehydrated. However, before I actually drink some water, I'm actually going to do some Radaway at this point, because I'm actually pretty much ready for some. Now, Radaway, I'm assuming, is going to impact my thirst, same as Radix will. Let's test this now. So, do some Radaway, and oh, blimey. I've done some Radaway, and the moment I've done that, I am tired, hungry, and thirsty. Let's see how bad it just got. So I'm tired. My action refresh is down by 5%. Not that bad, really. Hunger, minus 2 endurance, that is a problem. Radaway's right added fatigue and suppressed immunity. And, oh, suppressed immunity means my chances of getting sick have gone up. So definitely don't get bitten by anything right now. Parch, minus 1 intelligence. Right, so now I am hungry, parched, and tired. Well, I don't believe there's a good place to sleep around here. Okay, so valuable lesson learned. It's probably better to just accept a few rads and your maximum health being a little bit lower rather than accept the penalties of Radaway, right which are actually quite severe. But anyway, we've got all this purified water. We're now properly hydrated. Lovely. Now, eat a few of those tatoes we've got. Blimey, I just ate four tatoes and some mutt chops, and I'm still peckish. Finally, another melon consumed, and I'm actually back up to properly fed. The problem is, by doing that, I've just regained a third of the rads that I got rid of. So unless you've got a really good source of food to hand that's rad-free, be really careful about using rad away, or you might just find yourself exactly back where you started. Oh, actually, luckily, because right away is effect over time, it looks like those rads that I got from the food have immediately gone away again. So actually, that works kind of to my advantage. However, I do need to find somewhere to rest at some point, which would be fine, uh, because I do need to rest to save anyway. But we are heading over, of course, to Sunshine Tidings. I want that, uh, I want the Wasteland Survival Guide that gives me double meat. That will, of course, be extremely useful. One mutant dog up there. Uh, can I get a shot at you? Are you sitting down? Uh... Get his attention. Come on, you. I need a scope or something on my flipping gun at some point. Oh, 87% chance to hit. Yeah, I'll take that. That's very accurate, actually. You've already fallen down. Dead. Lovely. Let's get him out of the way. 
and just swing up that way, grab the meat. I don't want to be leaving any meat behind right now. So I will just grab it and then move straight on down this way. Don't want to accidentally upset any of his friends. Oh, bloody hell, something's going on over there. What's happening? What's going on? Who are you? Is that a random event over there or is that over there fixed? I'm honestly not sure if that's random or not. I'll get a little bit closer. I think the last time I passed this bridge, it was just like some trader. What are you? Raiders! Uh-oh. Go, 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 go. I'm not taking... Not, not three raiders. Not at once. Not in the open. Go, 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 go. Down to Walton Pond. Down to Walton Pond. I'm pretty sure that's a bit of a random spawn. Because over there, I've previously seen just like some random scavenger who asked for some water. I think I gave him some. And he was like totally cool with me, but he didn't actually give me any reward. This time, three raiders. No. Not in this condition, not this early into the game, not when, bear in mind, I haven't saved since flipping Sanctuary. Not worth it. Not in the slightest. Now, I believe this area is pretty safe. And when I say pretty safe, I have actually seen, a, you know, a behemoth floating around this area in the past. But I think he only spawns if you go into the car henge, the far side. The last time I went into the car henge, I was really lucky and like nothing happened whatsoever. Yeah, the hidden brackets are stable. We're good. Now, is there a mattress in Walton Pond? I have no bloody clue. There might be if we're really lucky. I can't see anything around here. And I have an odd feeling somewhere in the back of my mind, something's telling me there's a trap in here. And I don't know what it is. That is a... Is that a bomb? I think that's a bomb. Can I disarm that nice and quick? Yep, disarm the makeshift bomb. Good. Spring and copper out of that. The question is, what was the trigger for that? Where's the trigger for that bomb? That's a uh, aluminium can. Just uh, you tried to hide from me. He was clinging to the bottom or something, trying to hide from me, but he couldn't do it. Now is there another, another trap around here? I don't know. I can't see anything. Let's appear at the back door here. Everything looks safe for now. <laughs> you get more and more nervous. You get more and more nervous as you go along. So the more you go along, the longer it's been since you've dropped a save. Good cap stash. Excellent. Overdue book, worth keeping on. I'm sure we'll be at the library at some point in the not-too-distant future. Rushing to the intelligence bobblehead strikes me as a very good idea. Some caps. Now, can't go straight down to the gift shop basement, but obviously could go through the pipe if I... Ooh. Bloody hell, I just walked straight past a bomb without seeing it. I am the luckiest, jammiest git that ever lived because I didn't even see that. I didn't see it in the slightest. Right, no bed here. There might be a bed downstairs with the raiders, but I really don't want to risk it, especially when I'm pretty confident there will be a bed up in Sunshine Tidings. It is, after all, a bloody settlement, so where are those raiders? No sign of them. And when I say no sign of them, obviously they're not going to be on the compass, but Vats can't locate them. Right. First pit stop, and this is what? I'm not just planning a loop here right now. When I'm planning the loop that I need to run, I also need to plan for where is there a good rest stop for me to get a quick bit of sleep and drop a save just in case the odd thing goes wrong. Because you saw back in Concord in the Museum of Freedom, one single shotgun blast took away two thirds of my health. One bad engagement can end your life in this mode very, very quickly indeed. So you've just got to be more than a little bit careful. Even if you're playing well, you can just get killed at random. So time for me to find a place to go to sleep in here. If I can find, uh, yeah, if I can find a place that doesn't have ghouls in it first, so I can just, like, kill an insect, I will gladly take that. Here we are. Beautiful. There's Professor Goodfield. Ignore him for now. I believe these ones around here have nothing but, like, rad roaches or something in them. So they're a lot so... Oh, oh, yeah, rad roach. Basic rad roach. Fine. I can't shoot a basic rad roach, apparently. I'm just going to shoot him now. Get him before he gets you! Luckily for Vat's defense, then. Uh, is there a bed in here? Are any of these working beds? Darn, these are not. They're just frames. Actually, good point. Oh, no, I won't be able to... Presumably, I won't be able to just make this my own settlement until such time as I've actually cleared out the enemies, right? I'm going to assume that's the case. I believe, like, the ghouls are in the houses at the back. I think these ones are safer. You're not, you're not getting up. One more rad roach. Hiding behind a chair. Uh, yeah. Ooh, dead reaver. Definitely one for... Aha! Bed. Perfect. All right, good. We've got a save point. Multiple save points, in fact. Brilliant. Yep. Yeah, Done. 
Can you see there? Auto saving. I'm parched from lack of water. I'm tired from lack of sleep. Uh, do I want to... No, the light's going to fade. I want to do all this as much as I can of this in a single day. So I need to just keep going around this settlement. Clear it out. That is... That's a broken down one. And I believe there's two ghouls in the back of one of these. If I can just go slowly enough to... Oh, blimey. Which one is that? I think it might be... I don't know. One of these. This strikes me as potentially it. If I just open this door. Feral ghoul. Oh, yeah. We got a feral here. Careful, careful. Because there's another one. Feral ghoul. Dead. Get it before it gets up. Get it before it gets up. Get it before it gets up. Okay, go, go, go. I think I'm reloading. Go. Darn. Shoot him faster. Reload faster. How much damage did I just take in vats? How much? Vats defense, I bloody love you. <laughs> vats defense is the best thing. Right, okay, good. A little bit of ammo. Psycho and buff out. Now, they really knacker your uh, hunger and sleep, by the way. Be really careful with them. Those are no longer a good idea most of the time. Uh, duct tape, perfect. Cap stash. Wasteland survival guide. Extra meat from all animal kills, except blood bugs for no well-explained reason. Bottle caps, ammo, ammo, buff out, radex. Girded leather right arm. Yes, worth swapping over to that straight away. And inside a locked cabin. I don't know why it was locked, but it's in much better condition than the others. Now, two rad roach meats per rad roach. Perfect. Oh my goodness, look at this. A restored desk fan. It's beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. Couple of doses of radex, nice. Radex, still bad for you, but not as bad as Radaway. Now, let's just finish off these ghouls while we're here. I think we can claim this settlement for our own. All right, two ghouls coming. Oh, you flipping just teleported through the door you get. Right, um, oh, flip. This could go wrong. Do we get a critical? Critical, critical and don't care. Critical anything, just get him down. Don't want to be hit by a ghoul, thank you. Whew. These guys are guarding the... Yeah, these guys are guarding the food hall. I think that's the last enemy. We can make the settlement ours. When I say these guys are guarding the fridge, it was just some bubble gum. That was the entirety of what they were guarding. Lovely. All right. Sunshine tidings can indeed be ours. Beautiful. We got ourselves a new settlement here. No need to bother developing this yet. It's honestly not the best settlement to bother with, at least for the moment. However... I could build a bed here, but I already know there are good beds here, so I don't need to worry about that. Beautiful. All right, with a save in our pocket, it's time to head back onto the road here. This time we're going to rejoin the road that's going up towards, uh, back towards Concord, actually. There's a couple of things along that road. It might be worth just kind of passing by. Looks like the rain is setting in. Visibility is going to go down. That's a shame, but we'll just have to deal with it. All right, be a bit, a little bit careful here. We got raiders over there. Don't want to pick a fight with those guys. Not least since I haven't taken a single rank of sneak yet. I'm not wearing any muffle gear or anything. I've got literally nothing that improves my sneak whatsoever at the minute. So I should really be a little bit careful. Oh, uh-oh. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Is that just a bloke fly coming in? Is that all? I oh, flip. No, no, not all the bloke flies. Not at once. Oh, flip. Where's the... Okay, bloat fly, bloat fly. Where's the, where's the first bloat fly? Right. Please kill him one hit. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, good. This is not good. Um, right, kill. Okay. Oh, I'm being affected by an illness. I've been affected by my first illness here. Kill him. Yeah, fine. And just keep running around this guy until such time as my action points come back. Or if I can just bloody hit him. He's moving very fast. Oh, no. My action points aren't coming back because... Oh, my action points are coming back very slowly because of illness, I think. Please do not miss this shot. Please do not miss this shot. Bloody hell, a swarm of four bloat flies has become the most terrifying thing. <laughs> oh, God. Right, bloat fly meat times two, at least. At least we've got a ton of meat out of this. Right, I'm just going to gather that up quickly. Right, let's see what's just gone wrong here exactly. Right now, okay, I've got some adrenaline up. I've got lethargy which is action point refresh minus 50%. I've got tired action point refresh minus 5%. Parch minus 1 intelligence and increased chance of getting sick because of my suppressed immunity because I took that bloody rat away. So the rat away has kind of screwed me over and now I've got sick. I'm now uh, lethargic. Action point refresh 50% slower. Right, I'm going to take action boy or action girl at some point purely to try and counteract that effect because that is really coming back slow at the minute. 
Right, well, I've drunk some water because if I'm going to have my action point refresh this bloody slow, at the bare minimum, I need to have every action point that I can get my hands on. Oh, feral ghoul. Take him out quick. Take him out. Please tell me there's not more than one because if so, we're going to have to go over to the shotgun. And... No, oh, there was more than one. There was more than one. Right, okay. Uh, shotgun it is. Shotgun it is, guys. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, flip. Wait, hang on. Got a better plan. Molotov for you, you bastards. Where are you? Oh, flip. More of them. More of them. More of them. Dead. Luckily, they're nice and soft and squishy. They're nice, soft, squishy zombies. But look at my action points. What a mess. Bloody hell. What else have we got here? What is this? Is this the house with the... Uh, yeah, the irradiated basement? I think it might be. Something is very close to me, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> this is the most terrifying thing. This is the best mode. Best mode. Open the door. Go. go, 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 go. Dead. Gotta shoot him in the head. That's what you gotta do. Just gotta shoot him in the head. Bloody hell. Right. Gold plate flip lighter. Ah, a mattress. Alright, good. I got a mattress here. I can... Oh, and I've got a crafting thing. That's actually kind of useful. So with a crafting thing, I can verify how I get rid of lethargy. So, healing. What gets rid of lethargy? Improves resistance, improves resistance, improves resistance. Well, I don't need to improve resistance. I need to cure. How do I cure? Cure sickness. That's not too bad. Acid, pretty common. Uh, purified water. Stim packs, some glowing fungus. If I can get three things of glowing fungus, I can give myself some anti... Oh, bloody hell, it's chemist locked. That's the only way to cure sickness, and it's chemist locked. This game is the worst troll. Um, I guess it must cure by itself. Otherwise, you'd basically, if you're sick, you're sick for the rest of time. Unless I have to go and buy antibiotics from a doctor, which I might have to do. But that's crippling. 50% lower action point. That's just... That's genuinely crippled me. My character is just, like, so badly screwed over by that. Right, well, on the plus side, mattress. You know what I should do? I should sleep for a nice long time overnight. I know it's just a mattress on the ground, which means, oh no, I won't get any good benefit from it anyway. The day's almost done too. Right, just drop a save. Drop a save, and now we can go down into here. Into the cellar with the guy with the nukes. We'll see if we can take him out and retrieve any of the good stuff. There might be some glowing uh, down here, actually. If there's some glowing stuff... Oh no, it doesn't matter. I can't make it because chemist. Bloody hell. Right. Keep gathering. Gather all the stuff. Weapons workbench down here. Nice. Uh, oh, actually, I think I'll get a shot at him before... Actually, I know there's only one in here. So in that case, three charge. This thing is a beast relative to pretty much anything else I've got right now. Apart from the shotgun at very short range. But I think this thing might... Actually, even at short range, this thing might be better. Careful. Careful. Careful, where are you? No, you're in here, you bastard. I shouldn't be that careful. I have just... For once, I've actually got a bloody save. Uh, oh, I like the visual effect of it. Very nice visual effect. Right, and then we've got mysterious blue thing. And then, yeah, more mysterious blue stuff. Way and... Dead. Yeah, get him. Nice. I'm not sure how strong he was because he's a named one, so I can't see what class he is. But the better... No, no, keep charging it. Keep charging it. Beautiful. I need to take some uh, Radix. Yeah, Radix makes me thirsty, but I've got plenty of water. So I can get myself a bottle cap mine. That's worth having. Another Wasteland Survival Guide. Diamond City's on the map. Honestly, the least useful magazine in the entire game. Got myself some new colours. Aluminium cans. Just very quickly loot as fast as we can here. Gas canister. Turpentine. Abraxo. Uh, mini nuke stuff. Is this stuff useful? I'm trying to remember what's in it. Some nuclear material. That's actually kind of useful. Oh, and it doesn't weigh anything. Oh, this doesn't weigh anything and it's got nuclear material. Nice. Okay, uh, grab some of that. Grab that. Uh, rads are coming on pretty fast at this point. Anything else I want in here? Need to make some decisions quickly. No, that's fine. Go. All right, fine. Picked up a few rads there. Not too bad. Well, it feels to me like we now need to prioritize going to Diamond City to find an actual proper doctor sooner rather than later. Right. Night's upon us. Meaning, and we've got rain still. Visibility is poor. This is not necessarily that good in the slightest. But we're coming up on the edge of Concord. Which should be fine. Because as we've discussed before, refresh rate for both loot and raiders is now much lower. So the raiders are going to be like showing up in front of the Museum of Freedom much less commonly 
than they used to be. So here we go. Actually, I can't remember if on this side of town any of the houses are open. I don't think they are, but I may be wrong. If I got a level up, by the way. Ah, oh, for once, I don't have a level up one. I actually wouldn't mind one. You're peckish from lack of food. I will eat and drink in a moment, game. I pro that sheet of paper just freaked me the hell out there. Right, straight past the Museum of Freedom. We're heading on to our next destination. I'm going to finish this loop. I've got a loop planned, and it's what's going to happen. I should clarify, by the way, um, though I haven't tested it myself, Bethesda did specifically say there are different classes of bed. If you, like, go to an owned bed in a settlement to get a good night's sleep, that'll get rid of tiredness. Like, no matter how long you sleep on, like, a crappy sleeping bag in the field, you'll still be tired because you won't get proper rest from doing that. So I haven't tested it myself, but I'm just working under the assumption that, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, hello. What's going on down here? Feral. Oh, dear. The feral ghouls may have slightly eaten the people. Uh, three feral ghouls. Do I want to pick a fight with three ferals? I would if I could guarantee I could... Actually, you know what? Give it a go. And Molotov. All right, now. Let's see if I can get one of them. There we go. And just keep charging up that thing. They're all on fire, which works for me. And... Dead. Oh, no, there's two of them. There's two of them. That's more than I actually wanted. Okay, another Molotov. Oh, that was not a good throw. That was a terrible throw. Molotov. Dead. Molotov's actually pretty powerful. That was a sorry. I, I panicked a bit, and that was a bad throw. Uh, Molotovs are useful, because Molotovs, when you put them on the ground, anything that runs through the Molotov does still catch fire. Uh, so as a result of that, you can kind of, if you're attracting the attention of ghouls, you can just basically let them run at you and just put one on the ground. They'll run straight through it and catch fire and take damage. But uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a bit of a waste. Uh, who are you? You're just a random scavenger. I'm very sorry. Ooh, what the? What? What's happening? What's happening? Why was there just an explosion? What's about to explode? Is it something I'm standing next to? Oh, I think it's that. I think that thing over there is going to explode. Possibly because it got caught in the blast radius uh, previously. Ooh. Ooh, good stuff. All right, good. We actually got some good stuff out of these guys. Lovely. The ghouls may have eaten them, but the bare minimum I get... Yep, there it goes. Uh, but the bare minimum I get some good stuff out of the whole situation, which is lovely. And conveniently, the rain's even cleared up. It's a little bit nicer than it was. Nice. Ooh, and one of the ghouls was disintegrated. Nice. Now... If I'm right, and we just follow the road, we should be getting very close by to Thicket Excavation. You'll notice, of course, normally that would be on your compass by now. In this mode, no. No, it's not. Uh, because, yes, luckily, VAT's distance is still exactly the same. They'd be real jerks if VAT's only worked when you were closer. Uh, but luckily, they haven't changed the game quite that much, at least. Now, just go up here, just in case there's a... Uh, no, nothing. Oh, med box. Precious med box. I think I've actually used a stim... <gasps> Antibiotics times two! Yes! Okay, let's, let's figure out what antibiotics does, because at the bare minute, I just need to get rid of... Like, whatever antibiotics does, it can't be as bad as 50% lowered action point refresh speed. Do some antibiotics. So, weigh something. What does it do? And I'm thirsty from lack of water. Well, that's fine. I can fix that now. I've got all the water. I've got huge amounts of water thanks to my water purifiers. You see, the infrastructure back at my bases is starting to work. So, just keep drinking this. I am feel better, but still parched. And I'm properly hydrated. So four purified waters. And now, what's the problems I've got? I'm tired. I'm a bit peckish. Well, that's fine. I can sort out the peckish too. Delicious, delicious melons. And I'm properly fed. Why is my thing not feeling like it's as bright as it should be? It is fully charged. Right, thicket excavations anyway. That is fully charged. Uh, I definitely want that to be... Hello, Garrus. Yes, I definitely want that to be as charged as it can be. Because, of course, at the end of this little mini quest, uh, I will be taking on a couple of Myrlurks, though. Oh, wait, hang on. Glitch Quarry, are you back? Damn it, Glitch Quarry. <laughs> I thought we fixed this. Oh, damn it. The, the bloody beta for survival mode has meant Glitch Quarry is back again. No. Oh, God. Glitch Quarry, I missed you. I missed you so much. I was actually kind of sad when Glitch Quarry disappeared. Glitch Quarry is back. And indeed, in these chem boxes, we're getting more and more unusual stuff. Herbal antimicrobial resistance to infection parasites, but not cures infection and parasites. So once you start learning what you might be about to take on, you could take something that would give you some resistance to it ahead of time. That's nice. Now I've got a sleeping bag here before I kind of delve into the depths of Glitch Quarry. Hello, Garrus. Excuse me. Looking to earn some caps? I could use a hand here if you're all done gawking, you know. Yep, absolutely. But I tell you what, I've actually got... Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Excuse me for just one second. I could probably help. For a few caps extra. I was gonna give you something anyway. 75 caps for your time. Excuse me, are you suggesting my dress is not fabulous enough? I'm not sure if I'm up for it. 
A couple more caps might change my mind, though. Not gonna make this easy, are you? All right, a hundred caps then. And even more money. Now I think I can help. I will gladly help for that much money. All the gear on. Let's go dive into the madness of glitch quarry once. Okay, I just need to figure out where's the edge. I don't know where the edge is. The edge. Oh god, I've got to do radx before I do this, don't I? Yeah. Gonna need to do some more radx. This is gonna make me very thirsty. Never mind. Parch from lack of water. That's okay. I think we're about to go into some water. Ow, balls. Right. Okay. Now just need to go down here. And turn on the light. Oh, flip. Glitch quarry. <laughs> I hate glitch quarry. It's the worst thing. Right, okay. The bubbles are there. But the bubbles are, I believe... Ah, here we are. Pipe number one. Yep. Number one fixed. Now we go. To the top. And then I believe the bloody glitch quarry. I believe pipe number two is inside the glitchy bit. Yeah, we've got to go inside the glitchy bit. That's the problem here. Uh, if we go inside the glitchy bit, we can figure out where the... There it is! 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 Lovely. And back up. Pipe number two or three. This isn't the difficult bit, of course. The difficult bit is the fact that the bloody... Uh, the bloody Myalux will be there sooner or later. Just gotta avoid the things. There we are. Oh, glitch quarry. I'm so glad you're back. I was genuinely sad. Genuinely sad when glitch quarry went. Now, stay away from the edge. Because this is... Yeah, you guys see... The edge isn't actually the edge, and that, that bit of the edge isn't the edge either. It's, it's all very confusing. Everything's confusing and terrifying inside Glitch Quarry. Uh, right, get this thing ready. It claims to be fully loaded, but it's not making as much light and stuff. I'm just going to reload it just in case. Get, get, charge it up fully. That's what I wanted to see. Yes, there you go. I think I've just wasted three shots. <laughs> just went purple for a second. The, the, oh, the red light. Right, okay, shot. Excellent. Actually, you know what I can do? I can actually just, um, using his sleeping bag, I can actually drop a quick save before I actually go and turn in the quest. Perfect. So now I'm at no risk whatsoever from the Myalux. When you find things like that, take advantage. Right. And once I kill the Myalux, I can actually cook them straight away. Very nice. Now, be ready for them. They're going to pop up in a second. Oh, no, I need to talk to you. <coughs> I will, but I'm fully aware that there's going to be Myalux and that they might literally jump out of the glitch ground. Turn it on. Where are I? Where are I? Where are I? Right, there you go. I see ya. I see ya. Do I have a critical hit ready to go? Where's your face? I've got zero chance to hit. Oh, zero chance to hit, zero chance to hit, zero chance to hit. And... Hello, are you coming at me? You're coming at me and 50% chance to hit. I'll take it with the critical. Done. Soft shell Marlet number one. That leaves just uh, one for me and Sully combined. He's behind you, Sully. Sully, no, Sully, no, don't leave it to me. Where the hell are you? The hell he, where's he gone? Where's that utter git gone? You utter git. You utter, take the shot. Beautiful. Got the 50-50 shot. Soft shells. Where did you just run off to? You utter coward. You utter bastard. <laughs> just left me here. Fighting them. I thought he was going to help out. Oh, you went over there. You magnificent bastard brave Calibrating Turian get. And there's the 100 bottle caps we agreed, together with a pile of experience. To oh, I should have drunk water before speed to him. I could have got very slightly more XP. Never mind. Doesn't really matter. So, level 8. Well, I'm going to say it's probably worth at this point taking the first rank of Sneak. Definitely worth taking that. What time are we at, by the way? Is it worth, even though it's kind of relatively... I think we're getting late into the night. I think I might want to actually just wait until morning at this point for improved visibility. Yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. If I, like, sleep for six hours, even if it's in a sleeping bag, what does that do for my tiredness? Because I believe that doesn't help my tiredness at all, but we can test. You can't sleep for more than three hours in a sleeping bag. Ah, you awake still tired. So, uh, literally, I cannot deal with tiredness in a sleeping bag. Uh, you can only get a full night's sleep and benefits to come by sleeping in an actual bed. So, yep, yeah, there we are. That is it verified. Um, if you try and sleep for more than three hours in a sleeping bag, it actually stops you. So, yeah, settlements. Settlements. Way more important than they used to be now. Uh, let's clamber up here and continue on our loop. Past all these silt beans. I'm not sure what silt beans do. I've never been sure. Let me know in the comments if you'd be so kind if you know what silt beans do off the top of your head. Because I'm genuinely not quite sure what they're for. Thicket excavations cleared out. I'd say we're now safe to head on our way round Ten Pines Bluff and pick up that quest, even if we don't miss. Oh, 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 no. It's not those bloke flies. Look, I know something. Oh, no, wait. Is that done? Ah, fuck you! Yeah!
I just got jump scared by a rags tag doe. Bloody hell! I'm sorry. That was that was stronger language than I normally like on the channel. But you utter git! You utter bastard! Right. Good. Love it. A uh, couple of... Right, you're dead. What about you? And... Oh, there we go. Get him, get him, get him before he shoots you and makes you sick. Nice. Blood flag goes down. Good. Okay, don't want to be sick. That danger is just the bloody biggest troll rad stag in the world. Keep heading east. Actually, you know what? I'll put a custom marker on, actually. Because obviously, uh, this would normally be showing up on my map by now, but it's not. I'm going to kind of skirt around to the east and then go up north. Because you may recall, um, if you head straight east from the... Oh, mad stag doe. That's all we got. Yeah. Go away. Just run away, please. If I'm just, I don't even want to kill you. I just want to scare you off so that, like, I'll go out of danger. You may recall, if you kind of go along the north and just head straight east towards Ten Pines Bluff, there's this little gorge you pass through. Where I think it's like four or five dogs and an alpha wild mongrel and i don't want to pass him by uh because an alpha wild mongrel can be quite tough so instead i'm going to loop around to the east here uh which i think is much safer and then skirt back around to the north once we're yeah okay yeah once we're in a much better situation but i just want to avoid those dogs because knowing this bloody mode i'll probably end up with rabies and there we are a nice little sign telling us just go up this path this is the nice safe easy way to head up to ten pines bluff and for once, I don't just want to bloody steal all of your flipping potatoes because I've already got all that I need from Abernathy. Now, you're probably going to come at me with a gun in a second. Oh, no, there's a trader here. The Which trader we got? Which trader are you? Is that <gasps> Lucas? Yes. Okay. Don't I don't care about Ten Pines Bluff anymore. Lucas, that's a really good lucky spawn. I've seen him here sometimes, but it's not certain at all. Champion's left arm, strength and endurance could be very, very useful just for the extra endurance, if nothing else. Mantis left arm. I've never been sure why this is actually here. It's okay, but not spectacular for damage resistance. And 10% chance to disarm melee attacker on hit. It's not even that good. Why is that 18,000? I'm going to put on my fabulous red dress. Just to get some bit of charisma going up here. He gives me much lower prices now. There we are. Only 737 this time. He likes the dress. Lucas is Lucas is into this. This is Lucas' sort of thing. Honestly, I don't have that much to sell because I'm not carrying that much of value because it's early game. But I'm just going to have to trade a few little bits of pieces. Aid I probably won't use. Ammo types I'm not using. A couple of bits of armor I've picked up I won't use. We'll trade for all of that. Yes. I've also decided to switch over to this more badass cap. Yeah. In my mind, like, Grills Bears thinks this is, like, a really awesome, like, military or police cap. It's not. It's actually a postman's cap. But, you know, that kind of suits what you do in this game. You do a lot of just kind of running around delivering stuff half the time. Stick to the roads and you got a better chance of surviving. Oh, you say that. I got flipping swarmed by bloatflies on the road the other day. It was awful. What do you want? I literally was just cooking a nice bit of soup here and then this guy comes out and points a gun at me because making soup is threatening. I'm here to help. And there we are. We've picked up the quest related to the Corvega assembly plan, but we're not doing that quest right this second. No. We're also, of course, not allowed to save here because we don't actually own this place yet or we're not allied to it. So that means I'm not allowed to rest on these here mattresses. So the loop continues. We're now going to head west in order to get to Olivia, though, as I say, I'm going to skirt around the outside of those dogs because I don't really want to pick a fight with them at this exact moment in time. You know, what I'm increasingly thinking is, of course, um, these days, I'm guessing when you speak to a doctor in a proper city and they say things like, hey, I can, you know, cure your rads, I'm guessing they do it without any side effects because they actually know what they're doing. Which, if so, doctors might have actually just gained a point in actually flipping existing, remarkably. Well, it's morning, but visibility is really bloody poor. Obviously, I want to loop around the top and go to the scrapyard to activate the sentry bot on my way to Olivia, just to make my approach a little bit more easy. I'm, however, a little bit concerned that, yes, right now, I really can't see the mole rats. And there are mole rats somewhere between me and there. Now, same as before, we've skirted around the raider camp, we're round at the end of the lake that Sanctuary is set on. Now stick as close as you can to the wall, because there's an egg clutch somewhere around there, and we do not want that thing activating, wibbling, or in any way causing soft shell myelux to spawn. There we are, straight past it, nice and safe, onto the junkyard. Now, there is a fat man here, I'm not going to pick it up, it's 
it's too heavy, to be honest. It's too heavy for me. Not just every individual mini nuke is actually very heavy too at this point. So you've got to be a bit careful of that. Instead, I'm straight here for the Fusion Core Military Grade Circuit Board. That's a good source of circuitry right there. Now that will be useful for potentially building some better defences at Sanctuary Hills to keep those guys safe. So, Stimpak, Radex, Purified Water. Yet more Military Grade Circuit Boards. I think that's like five circuitry each. That's actually pretty darn good. Uh, Wonder Glue. Nice. Stimpaks. The Hot Rodder. Excellent. So now I can actually get plus one duty on any power armor I choose to wear. And also look badass, which is just as important. And the terminal, grab hold of the sentry thing. And actually, I might be able to do some weapon crafting out here because I've got so much stuff with me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I hear mole rats. I think the thing's just triggered some mole rats. Hello? Oh, flipping. That's my sentry bot. Good sentry bot. Friend sentry bot. Do not panic about the sentry bot. Combat sentry prototype. Play the tape in your own little pit boy there to control this guy. And engage his defense protocol. And defend Olivia, where I'm going next. Beautiful. Uh, so he's now going to head off in the direction of Olivia. Obviously, it's worth sticking by him. He's a little bit... He's not perfect. Be aware, he is not perfect. He has a small problem, which is he regularly needs to flipping recharge his things. Way, way more common, actually, than, uh, than any other sentry bot. And he's a bit bad, because he kind of triggers mole rats as he goes past them. And then after he's triggered them, like, he doesn't really deal with them that effectively. So stick close to him, but be aware that you may have to deal with some mole rats yourself. Oh god, this is awful weather. This is the sort of day I would normally just wait out. But in this occasion, I can't really. It's a bit too, uh, it takes too long to just wait out an entire day. So we're just gonna have to let him crack on his... <laughs> needs to recharge a bloody again. He recharges like three times just this way to bloody get here. But he will at least when he gets here. Because he is, um, yeah, he's ridiculously strong. He will definitely be able, once he gets here, to utterly destroy anything here. Well, rather bloody conveniently, this guy is now basically, as far as I can tell, he's just wandering back towards the bloody junkyard. Right. Guess we have to deal with this by myself, then. There's a mole rat over there. I know for a fact at least some of the mole rats around here have flipping mines strapped to them, so that makes me a little bit nervous. He does not look like he's got mines strapped to him, but I can't be 100% bloody sure in these weather conditions. Actually, I think the mist might be just starting to clear slightly. Yeah, looks like it's really clearing, John. Get around here. We'll be able to see what the hell's going on a bit better. Found the station. Found this. Oh, oh, blimey, 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 blimey. Careful, 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 careful. Because people will kill you in seconds. You will die in seconds. <laughs> right. Let's get powerful shot ready to go here. Whatever happens, get ready to kill in one go. That's a rad stag doe. My, my nemesis. Nothing there. Just need to find an enemy and nail them. If one enemy goes down, I'll feel much better about life. Where are you all? Oh, uh oh, 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 oh. I mean caution, but I don't know from where. Is there a guy inside here that's about to go around the corner? Possibly. Or maybe he's about to come from behind me. I don't know, because there's no bloody compass things. This is bullshit. Oh, yes. Wait, I think that's... He's in there. I think he's in there. Right, we got one in there. That's fine. Let's see if I can get hold of... Can I get vision? Oh, oh. oh, what the... What? Where? What the... No! Are you the... Oh, you're the mine one! Oh, flip. Flip. Oh, flipping heck. Right, okay. Uh, right, recharge it fully right now. Recharge it fully right now. Recharge it fully. And that will be enough to kill you, but... It's only 74% chance to hit. Balls, don't you... Oh, no, dog, 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 damn you. Right, okay. Sorry, dog. I feel bad about this. I really do. I really do. I really do. Recharge, 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 recharge. Around the corner, around the corner, around the corner. Where's the next one? There might be another one up top. Right, okay, you're up there. Uh, 60... 74% chance to hit. Go, take it. Dead. Okay, keep it... Keep, no, keep it charging, keep it charging, keep it charging. Where's the next one? I don't know, because there's no bloody campus pips. This makes combat much more stressful. Uh, where are you? Are you still there? 82% uh, chance to hit. Take it. Go. Dead. That should be the lot. Whew. Okay. I'm so sorry. I like dogs. And you're a Rottweiler. And they're much nicer than people give them credit. They're not mean, nasty dogs at all. Right. Got flipping charged by a mole rat bomb as well. Wasn't expecting that. But I think we're safe. Yeah. Pretty safe here. Good. 
You know, I'd say the weather's clearing, but that colour scheme makes me distinctly feel it's only clearing because there's a bloody radiation storm coming in right this bloody second. Oh yeah, that's radiation storm, alright. Yep, plus five, lovely. Right, I need to get inside right now. Um, actually, I can't get inside right now. There's a couple of things I need to bloody do first. Another five rads. God, okay, right. Rad X. I'm telling you, radiation storms are more common now than they used to be. That is definitely the case. Uh, I need to quickly... I think I can do some armor improvements before I go into Olivia, because that's what I want to finish off with. I want to do Olivia. Okay, yes, I do indeed have just enough adhesive cloth and leather on me to add another pocketed onto my armor. Beautiful. All right, now, carry capacity ever so slightly increased. Now, am I allowed to please let me sleep even though it's radiation? Yes, okay, I am. I'm allowed to sleep just enough to get... Uh, oh, good. Thirsty from lack of water. Don't even care. Uh, the radiation storm has passed. That's good. Got plenty of water on me. I'll drink some now. Properly hydrated. Only thing now is tiredness. All right. Good. Drop to save there. Life is good. Let's move in. Finish off Olivia. Get back the thing. And probably my first legendary enemy. I believe this is a guaranteed legendary radroach spawn. I may be incorrect, but I believe it is. All right. Don't panic. I've got a save just outside, albeit with the small problem that uh, I'm not actually allowed to... Uh, I'm actually allowed to quick save while I'm in here. This has all got to be done in one go. <laughs> oh, life is fun. Life is... Everything is fun. Everything is fun and wonderful. Uh, advanced guard terminal. Can't do anything with that. I don't have a spare... No, I don't have a spare level I could use to get hacking up. I'm not sure what the guard terminal would do. Potentially let me turn on... Turn on some things? I'm not sure. Right. I need to... Uh, Find, uh, what's the best way to do this? Best way to do this is probably to play as smart and cautious. Oh! Smart and cautious as possible, I say! Yeah, that's smart and cautious. You're dead. Uh, right, continue charging, continue charging, continue charging. It's caution, not danger. Caution, not danger. Caution, not danger. Hide over here. Keep an eye. Keep an eye on who's coming versus who's not. We're almost back into... Okay, hidden. Good. First one dead. No general alert. But I'm guessing they're going to be a little bit more alert now. Okay. I believe there's a, one, maybe two more people around the corner here. Get a good view around the corner. Get a good view around the corner. Get a good view around the corner. Ooh. And there we go. Good. Take you out. Uh, laser weapon's not silent, however. So this is going to be... This is going to eat through ammo, mind. Uh, right. Right here. This is a good place. This is a good place. Unless someone comes from the right. No. Back to hidden. Good. All right. Good start. Good flipping start. We've taken out... I thought it was three around here. There might be a third one around the corner. We've taken out... Yeah, we've made a good bit of progress with these guys. I've got stealth one now. Sorry, sneak one. So at the bare minimum, we should have some defense. A bit more. There's a blood pack. Lovely. We can do some crafting with that later. Okay. Now, who else is... I swear there might be a third one that was in this corridor. It's just... You're fine. Don't worry about you. Right. Head back this way. Oh. Oh, that's a guard dog. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. I don't care about the fact this is a waste of ammo. This is the most dangerous place I've been to so far. I'm just happy to be killing things in one shot. Which is good. This is exactly what I want. Any more sign of anything? No. No sign of anything around here. Down here is when things get a bit mad. And I can't just lay a mine back here as a backstop. Because you now trigger your own mines. So you've got to be a bit careful of that. Uh, however, I could... Ooh, 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 ah, darn. Could have got a shot at you, potentially. From here. Hide on the stairs here. Yes. 60%, 60%. Take it! Oh, balls. 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 Caution. Lost coin flip there. No worries. They're losing interest suspiciously quickly, quite frankly. I'm almost surprised how quickly they're losing interest in the fact that someone blatantly just fired a laser blast and they haven't heard from anyone upstairs in a little bit. This time a little bit closer. A little bit closer. The moment we see them, take the shot. Then back off. Actually, uh, no. Stick with Molotovs as my secondary weapon right now. There we go. 70, 70, yeah, 70 percent chance. Take. Nice. Sneak attack. Dead. Got one more dead. Hidden. Okay, good. Now the problem is, what's her name? Akak. Akak, who's got a flipping minigun and is generally a nightmare. And she's not legendary, but she has got a minigun. She's a named character. She's got a minigun. I 
don't think she can go this far, however. I think she's only allowed to go up to... Yeah, I'm not sure she even comes in here. If, she's, if they see the body, they might do. Hang on. Uh, can I... Drag, 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 yeah. Playing this bloody Hitman style at this point. Well, I'm not seeing any movement there. Okay. In that case, I'm going to move back this way and have a little loopsy around here. So we got ourselves... What's that? Who are you? Standard Raider. Can't get a shot at you, obviously. But you are potentially... If I just pop out ever so slightly, ever so slightly, ever so slightly. What's my chance to hit you? 60%. I'll take it. Yes, that's the animation for you just got vaporized. Back into cover, back into cover, back into cover, back into cover, back into cover. Recharge it. All right, we got a problem now, which is how tough are you? Ooh, not that tough. Oh, flip. Right, go, 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 go. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Right, stim packs. Um, stim packs, you're parched from lack of water. Yes, stim packs are bad. Um, you're thirsty from lack of water. I've done two stim packs and now I'm really thirsty. Yeah, stim packs are also bad for the for the thing. Uh, right, I need to get out of here. Retreat back to the opening area. Drink some water first. Uh, back to the opening area, back to the opening area, back to the opening area. I did at least some damage. Right, that's fully charged already. How good are they going to be at following me? Not good enough. Beautiful. I definitely did at least some damage to them because I got a Molotov on them. And these guys are not tough. But you saw how quickly they got my health down. I could not stand a chance against all three of them together. Ooh, they're paying attention now. They're a bit more attentive than they would have been had I not just murdered one of them. Ooh, I think I killed. Yeah, one of them died from the Molotov. Good. So we definitely have another dead one there. Ooh, possibly two dead ones. Oh, that Molotov did a lot. That Mol Molotovs are very powerful in this. Really powerful. So we got one dead there. Two of them, I think, died from the throwable. I think there might be no one left but Akak. If that's true. The question is, am I willing to bet my life on that? Am I willing to bet my life on it being no one but Akak left? Right, so stim packs are also affecting thirst. And thirst is very, very bad indeed. Um, God damn it, says Akak. Yeah, I know. Everything's bad. Uh, around this side. Where is she? I don't know where she is. Being in... Oh. Oh, she's right there. She was right there. She was right there. Just shoot her in the back. Shoot her in the back. Okay, shoot her in the back some more. Are we in danger or caution? <laughs> okay. Continue charging. Continue charging. Continue charging. I think we're good. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. She was right bloody there. Voltaic lunchbox. Yay. Ooh, quantum. Yay, quantum. Quantum is the best thing. Uh, oh, that's a good point. Um, you can use Nuka Cola to get rid of the um, ill effects of tiredness, by the way. So if I drink a couple of Nukas now, uh, you feel caffeine in your veins. Yes, let's take a double Nuka. Uh, so you feel caffeine. So obviously you can see there that that has affected my hydration. And it's also got rid of my tiredness because the caffeine in my veins for as long as it lasts. But it's made me hungry. So caffeine makes you more hungry but reduces your need to sleep. But as long as it's liquid caffeine, it does affect your thirst as well, positively. So that is good. Right. Now, move over to hardened pipe rifle. I think now we've got nothing, but at the end here... Ooh, very nice. Uh, we've got nothing at the end here, but rad roaches. But we can also get what we need right away. The locket! Yes. Bobby pins, rad X, duct tape. Beautiful. Unlock this door. Well, let's gather up the absolute tons of meat that I've just got here. Yep, loads of meat. Beautiful. Now, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's a rad roach that pops out of this guy. And I don't know if he might be a legendary guaranteed. What are you? No, you're just normal. Ah, I thought you were a guaranteed legendary. My mistake. Area cleared out. Good. Tense. Very tense. You get caught in an open firefight, you're as good as dead. Unless, of course, you're bringing something like power armor to bear. In which case, maybe you've got more of a chance, but still. Now, what have we got out of the trunk? Good ammo, good shotgun shells, beautiful. Three fragmentation grenades, Molotov, mine, nice. All good stuff there. So glow sighted heart and pipe pistol, uh, not desperately. I can do without both of them, to be honest. All right, job done. 
We have done well, I think. But I think you can see just how ridiculously strong enemies are. But also how, when you've just got a semi-decent gun, how well you can murder them too. See, this to me is why I love this mode. This mode is realistic. Which is like, you know, in a gunfight, if there's three people and they're shooting you, you should be utterly torn to shreds. And if you shoot someone in the back with a rifle, they pretty much should die. That is natural and proper and everything is correct there. And with that done, we have completed pretty much everything that I want to there. Last thing I need to do is obviously I need to actually head back to Abernathy Farm and actually turn over the locket to them. But at this point, I've pretty much passed this, you know, the areas I'm passing through now, I've already passed through. We should be 100% safe. Though now I've said that I completely jinxed myself, I'm going to get out my shotgun because I don't bloody trust this game for one bloody second. Yep, there you go. Mole flipping rats. Abernathy's great. I love Abernathy. Not least because the vertical height limit on it is absolutely massive. You can just build a skyscraper around this pylon if you want to. It's beautiful. And there we go. Returning the favour complete. Abernathy now belongs to me. Just going to quickly make sure it's safe because I do actually like this place. This place is important to me. So, food 10, water 3. Ooh. Actually, I know what I can do to help that. I basically need to artificially reduce the amount of food that this place is producing to make it less of a viable target for raiders. This is, however, a bit of a tricky one because you'll notice here, like, there's very little you can actually harvest for raw materials. There's, like, this stump over here for a little bit of wood, but really there's really little raw material around here. Now, the other trick we need to take advantage of is, of course, that one person can man multiple of these. So, that's still Defense 3 at the moment. However... We tell uh, Lucy, you are now going to go and be on defense duty. Assign. She will man all of these. Now, food is now at seven. Defense at six, water at three. All right, here we go. Oh, but we've got a bit of a problem here. Uh, I've managed to get this settlement to where I want it to be, but I've just run into a different problem, which is I'm overtired, and that means I've hit overcapacity. Let's see what overtired means. So, overtired. Action refresh minus 15, strength minus one. Ouch. Let's see if I can just deal with that using caffeine. Can I deal with that? Feel the caffeine in my veins? Yes, okay, I can buy some time from being overtired using caffeine. Good, good, good. So, this place is now nice and secure. Beautiful. And I, meanwhile, can head back to Sanctuary to wrap up for the day. So, the advantages of how I've set up my home here, which is if I now nip to the back garden as I've been around for a little while, all of these tatoes have re-sprouted. So next time I want to head out, I've got basically a huge supply of food I can take straight away with me. Lovely. And how long have I been gone? I think I've only been on about two in-game days. So we do have more purified water ready to go in the morning when we set out into the world again. We can also cook all of the meat that we've got because we have got plenty. In particular, enough rad roach meat for multiple grilled rad roach. I swear they've increased that, by the way. I think it used to be only two rad roach meats to make grilled rad roach. Now it's three. I think they've made it a bit harsher. I may be misremembering, though. So, let's see what we can do to our weapons now that we've picked up a whole bunch of new stuff. So, I can put a reflex scope onto my little pipe thing. Definitely worth doing, so I can actually aim with that a bit better, given that's a good day-to-day -day weapon. And I'll put a reflex sight on the tactical three-crank musket, too. Yep. And I'm going to have another look at that short hunting rifle now we've got plenty more ammo for the damn thing. See if that could become a decent sniping weapon. Putting a medium scope on that seems like a good start. As does a powerful receiver for 69 damage. The whole thing looks a bit ridiculous because the gun's basically as long as the scope on the top of it. But yeah, we can't do anything about the long barrel just yet. We'll need a bit more adhesive before we can do that. We're also going to have to get better at throwing out anything we're not actually using. Because I'm carrying around all this 10mm ammo I'm not using. That's six weight right there. Only carry around the ammo for the weapons I'm actually using. That's important. Next on the list, let's make Sanctuary a bit more bloody secure. It may not be enough to necessarily dissuade an attack, but it'll definitely be enough to help fight it off if it does come. Rads have actually got a little bit high at the moment, so let's go and take care of that. Just single dose of Rad away. That's fine. I'm overtired from lack of sleep. I will take care of that in a minute. So the Rads are now going to start disappearing off. I can ever start drinking up to get rid of the thirst, which is absolutely fine because it doesn't matter because I'll just be healing off these Rads over time anyway. So I'm now properly hydrated. Very, very nice indeed. May as well just keep drinking. The rads is getting rid of the... The radaway is getting rid of the rads as fast as I'm drinking them. So that's all as it should be. And then... Oh no! I feel ill insomnia. Maybe I shouldn't have been drinking that filthy river water. Darn. 
Insomnia, require more sleep. Oh, well, that's a shame. Okay, fine. We've got a spare antibiotics. We will do that now. Ah, dear. Because it's been so long since I've eaten, I'm up to famished. Charisma minus three, endurance minus four, luck minus one. Dear, oh dear. Right, need to eat some food. Luckily, I think the potato harvest is bloody ready. Magnificent. I need to eat a lot of potatoes right now. Four potatoes. I feel better but still hungry. Feel better but still peckish. Eight potatoes later, I feel properly fed. Lovely. And let's be honest, we know what the main thing I need to do next at this point is. It's I actually need to get some proper sleep in a proper bed. So, got a proper bed here in my old bedroom. Ah, I think I deserve a good night's rest. There we are. Not only am I rested, I feel well rested and I actually get the well rested perk. You can still get that from sleeping for a long period of time, but obviously long period of time and only in an actual bed there. And for once, we're actually in good shape. Only a handful of rads at this point. We've got actually full action points. Nothing wrong with me whatsoever. Life is flipping good. And that is only one thing to do. Level up. Ah, and level nine brings me Rifleman 2. Perfect. So now another 20% more damage on top of what I already had to my rifles. And I get to ignore some armor. Beautiful. Bringing the double barreled shotgun up to 93 damage. Scoped powerful hunting rifle, my new best friend. Now I can snipe with 77 damage. My tactical hardened pipe rifle, my day to day, still at only 22. That'll need to be replaced pretty darn soon, I think. Maybe I'll just go and get a combat rifle. I know a couple of safe locations for grabbing those. And my musket. Oh, the charged musket, when it is charged up, that will be, yep, 120 odd damage. But that's going to run out of ammo very, very quickly indeed if I don't find a new source for fusion cells. But there we are, ladies and gentlemen. The Adventures of Grills Bears continues. And I think after a little bit of difficulty in discovering a whole bunch of new stuff about status and problems in the survival mode, we are in much better shape all of a sudden. Sanctuary is at least partly secured behind its grand wall. We've built some good defense here. We've got a good source of food and water coming in off our purifiers and our grand potato fields that I've basically enslaved my fellow residents. I just go on adventures and their job is to stay here and farm the bloody potatoes. If I get back and the potatoes aren't ready, there is hell to pay, let me bloody tell you. Next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be making our way south. Obviously, we have got Corvega itself to deal with, but after Corvega, I think we have got to try and push our way further and further south. We've got to try and make our way to Diamond City in an actual bloody doctor to see if potentially paying a doctor to deal with medical conditions might just be a better solution than trying to medicate myself with some antibiotics I found in a box in a bus that are probably 200 years old. But we shall see about that, ladies and gentlemen. We shall see about that over the next part or two. All that to come. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 4 Survival Mode. Thank you very much and goodbye. What the hell is... Oh god, he's... He's actually getting faster. <laughs> oh, it's a remote control doom buggy tank. Oh my God. Who are you people? Are you taking me to the education camp? Why was there jam on the window? You bloody traitors to glorious Kim Jong-un.